This is Psalms 24 and 6. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Salah. Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I start this lesson, I'm going to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakudash, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakudash. My name is Tazimak Amak, coming from the Camp Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth and well. Peace and citation to the hopeful elect that scatter abroad. Give me one second. lock on that but today i just want to go into um we're coming back to finish what we started okay we're coming back to finish what we started all right so let's read this first scripture again psalm 24 and 6 this is the generation of them that seek him that seek thy face O jacob salah right Hey Amen. We we've been called into this truth. And really, we've done this before. You know, we've done this before in our past life. And Lord willing, we'd be those men that hopefully let. We were those men of that, that past time. All right. That was what was those ancient prophets or, or um believers that was serving Yahweh Shai and preaching his gospel, right? So reading this again, it says, this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face. And when you go into seek thy face, seeking thy truth, okay? Scriptures say how the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded, okay? Because the Lord is only dealing with the elect of Israel, okay? But this is going to be the generation, the generation of, you know, of the one third, the elect. It's not the... It's not going to be the whole nation, okay? It's going to be a remnant, all right? But this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek that face, O Jacob Salah, right? So with that, let's jump into John 15 and 16. And it says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And ordained you that you should go and for, go, that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit shall remain. That whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, He may give it to you. Right, and it says, "Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you." Okay, so Lord is telling you, Amen. You you ain't come seek you ain't come seek Him. He called you. All right. You may have had a zeal, okay, but you had, you didn't think you didn't think in your uh in your life that you will be in this truth, you know, preaching the word of Yahweh Shemuel Shai, you know, knowing that you're an Israelite. You didn't know that, man. You didn't think to yourself that, man. I'm I'm gonna be a prophet. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a teacher of the Lord. You didn't think that to yourself, man. So the Lord had called you. The Lord chose you. You didn't choose him, right? Lord say, and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain. That whatsoever you shall ask the father in my name, he may give it to you. Because, you know, you know your man by by his fruits. Okay. And and good, good tree is going to bear good fruit. All right. You're going to have good, good fruit that remain. You're going to have people that come bid into the marriage. You know, that um, magnifies the body, all right? That, you know, helps the body out, helps the ministry. You know, that's going to be good fruit. You're going to have people under you. It's lucky. And this is going to be a never-ending cycle, all right? You're always going to have new people coming in, okay? And, they, and they're going to have to relearn, you know, um, you know the basic, the one-on-ones. And it's going to be a never-ending cycle, but it also sharpens you because everybody got a different spirit, all right? 
And it says that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. All right. And that's faith. All right. Whatever you pray for, the Lord's going to give it to you because you're not on that door. And the Lord opened up and stuck with you. All right. Let's grab 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. Right. This is how, because when I read in Psalms, it says this is the generation that seek him. Right. This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. All right. And if you be a prophet of old, you're going to be subject to that, that same thing, man. Okay. It tells you how. Let's show you some examples. In Daniel, the 12th chapter, it tells you how the uh, Daniel's going to stand a lot in that days. It says, but go thou thy way to the end be, for thou shalt have rest. And stand in thy lot in the end of days, right? Let's actually show you another example in the book of Second Ezra, the first chapter, and the thirty-ninth verse, and it show and it tells you, unto whom I will give for leaders Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, um, Hosea, Amos. Micah, Joel, Abidus, and Jonas, Nahum, Habakkuk, Sophonias, um, Agius, um, uh, Zachary. I know it. I know it's some. Um, um, I know it's a different. Um, I think Zechariah. Yeah, Zechariah, Malachi, which is also which is called also an angel of the Lord. So the Lord said he was going to give you, he's going to give us leaders. And that means they will have to come back. It tells you also Malachi, the fourth chapter in the fifth verse, it says, behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of Yahweh. So that means a, hey, the spirit of those prophets are subject to the prophets. These men are coming back. Some men are in the spirit world. But some, some men, you know, these powerful men, the angels of the Lord, messengers, powerful messengers of the Lord are back today. Preaching the word of Yahweh Shemuel Hashai. So we, at the end of the day, we're coming back to finish what we started. What we put our hand to. But we, what the Lord set the mission out to be, because we can't retire in this thing. We can't retire being a prophet. We got to continue to do this work until the Lord comes back. All right. Let's actually grab this last precept. I didn't want to make this too long. All right. This is uh the book of Sirach, chapter 27. Verse 9, it says, The birds will resort unto their like, so will the truth return unto them that practice in her. So at the end of the day, you know, the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. Amen. The truth is going to return return unto them that practice in her. All right. And the Lord tells you, Scripture tells you how the Lord is not, is, um, it's not unrighteous to forget your labors of work. Okay, and some men passed away, you know, um, preaching the word, man. So they died in the faith. But at the same time, hey, we if we build the spirits, all right, the truth is going to return unto us. So we got to be super grateful to have what we have today. All right. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 11. It says, there is no remembrance of former things, 
Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. So us coming back in this flesh, you know, we don't have remembrance of our past, our past, what we have done in the past. Okay. And there's an account where it tells you how John the Baptist didn't know he was Elijah. Okay. He said, no, I'm John. All right. I'm not Elijah. I'm John. Because we don't have no remembrance of former things. But that spirit, that spirit does not forget. So we're always going to be subject and um, directed to do what we started, what we have to finish. Okay? And the Lord is always going to direct your spirit towards the right path. That's why you always have to trust the process. All right? So with that, man, Lord willing, this lesson been edifying. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahshah, Ba'ashim Rakakudash. Till next time I say Shalom.